Stanford University. The white sharks that are hanging out at the Farallon Islands in the fall are there to feed, and um, we see them feeding on several different sea lions and seal species. Mostly elephant seals, actually, are what we see out there. I use a decoy that uh, is in the shape of a small sea lion, and um, what that does is uh, visually attract the shark to the surface. Um, white sharks are visual predators. They look for their prey and they find it by sight and then they attack it. And so by putting a decoy out there or something that looks like a seal, they're going to be attracted to it and they almost are, uh, they, they have to come up and check it out or they wouldn't be surviving. Um, so they come up and, and look at this thing and circle it and that gives us a chance sometimes to tag them or um, get close enough to identify which individual shark it is. I use a, a video camera that's on the end of a pole and um, that is basically the most important thing I do because when a shark swims by you can maybe identify it if you know a lot of sharks and if it has a real distinctive marking but there's so many different sharks and they all look pretty much the same. Since this project began um, the things we've learned about white sharks is uh, pretty remarkable. And understanding top predators is really important because they, uh, they're not only indicators of a healthy environment, they're the indicators of what is living below them. If there weren't enough seals to feed the white sharks, of course, they'd have to feed on something else. So it, uh, in our area here, it shows a productive upwelling system that provides a, uh, a large food resource for a lot of animals. And as a result, we have this great predator, the white shark, that's able to survive here as well. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.